hello everyone so today we'll be learning uh, reduction of order in differential equation so as the name suggests uh, so we'll if i start with a second order differential equation using this method we'll able to reduce the order of a differential equation by one and reduce it to a first order differential equation so so for that we need one solution of the differential equation to be known so suppose we state the general the general equation of second order differential equation is of the form a to x y double prime plus a one x y prime plus a zero x y equal to zero. Okay. Now note that if we if we know that y1 and y2 are linearly independent solution then solutions then we know that y equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is also a solution this we have learned in some previous videos right so since this is a uh, this uh, c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is a solution so c1 y1 of x is a function of x plus c2 y2 of x this is not equal to 0 implies y2 of x by y1 of x equals to not equals to minus of c1 by c2 that is uh, the ratio between y1 and y2 is not a constant so y2x by y1x is some function of x say u of x so implies we can write the second solution y2 as some function u of x times y1x so actually this will help us to solve the uh, differential equation by reducing the order so what i am saying so if i know one of the solution of the differential equation say uh, this y1 x if i know y1 x then i assume the second solution to be of this form this y u uh, ux times y1 x so now we solve this for this ux and then from you from once we get this ux that you will see that that helps eventually reducing the order so once we solve this ux and then you can get easily y2 x by using this relation so that is the main aim okay so let's as previous videos let us go through an example uh, to better understand the theory okay so suppose we are given this second order linear differential equation y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equal to 0 and it is also given that one solution y1 equal to x e power x is a solution so this is given so you know the strategy to find the second uh, linearly independent solution that is we assume that y2x equal to some function u of x times y1 
so that is nothing but u x e power minus x okay now uh, since y2 y2 is a solution of this differential equation so y2 will satisfy this differential equation so now we will find y2 prime and y2 double prime and then substitute back into this differential equation and let's see what happens okay so let y2 be the second linearly independent solution now y2 prime is u prime x e power minus x plus u e power minus x plus u x minus 1 e power minus x right just write it once more u prime x e power minus x plus u prime e power minus x minus u x e power minus x okay now just calculate y2 double prime from this u double prime x e power minus x plus u prime e power minus x minus u prime x e power minus x these are the uh, this term differentiate to these three terms these three terms okay now we will do the next term differentiation that is u prime e power minus x minus u e power minus x okay and the last term is minus is already there so u prime x e power minus x minus u e power minus x and minus will come down so it will become plus u x e power minus x okay so this term is all these three terms that is fine now let's uh, see if some simplification can be done okay so u double prime there is only one term so u double prime x e power minus x then the next term is with u prime u type u prime is one term here one term here so two anything else no i think right okay so these two things gives us two u prime e power minus x okay so we are done with these two terms this term you are done this term you are done this term you are done okay so now u prime x u prime x also we have two terms okay so minus 2 u prime x e power minus x this is done next is u this thing minus u e power minus x and the last term is u x e power minus x so this is uh, y2 prime so now it satisfies our differential equation so this is our starting differential equation ok so so this let us give it a name star so since y2 is a solution of star so we have y2 double prime plus 2 y2 prime plus y2 equal to 0 okay now let's just put all the things together put it y2 prime y2 double prime let us put y u double prime x to power minus x plus 2 u prime e power minus x minus 2 u prime x e power minus x uh, u e power minus x plus u x e power minus x okay plus 2 times y2 prime y2 prime let us uh, check once okay so this is the thing right okay. so this is 2 times So this is two times means here two here to be two and here also to be two plus y two y two was nothing but u into x e power minus x u x e power minus x this 
is equal to zero. Now let us check our if anything cancels. Hopefully some terms will cancel. So first term is this one I can see. This term cancels this term. Okay, so u x e power minus x. This term this term becomes two cancels with this term. This is fine. Okay. Okay, let's just once check it. It's y double prime, right? U U e power minus x is hmm, yes, so I missed it here, so it will be two, right? Because uh, here there are two terms e power minus this and this okay. so here it will be 2 and so this two terms will cancel this two terms will cancel so what is left is u double prime x e power minus x plus 2 u prime e power minus x equal to 0 okay. so we can remove e power minus x u double prime x plus 2 u prime equal to 0 so you can see um, that if I take let u prime equal to v if I take this uh, substitution then this equation this equation will reduce to a first order differential equation that will be v prime x plus 2 v equal to 0 so this is what is called the reduction of the order. So it helps us to reduce the second order differential equation into a first order differential equation. So v prime x equal to minus 2v. If I bring v down, it's a separable form. Minus 2 by x. So eventually it will give uh, v as some constant c x to the power minus 2 because log will come and it will come ok now, so we can so this is uh, thing so we can remove the ignore the constant because anyway in, during the time of the general solution we take constant outside so if i know this thing then what is y2x y2x is the word v sorry u times uh, this thing x and e power minus x so if uh, this thing is v then u is nothing but x to the power minus 1 right So this is x to the power minus 1 x e power minus x so this is e power minus x hence the second linearly independent solution of star is e power minus x So if you so let us quickly recall what you did. So if you are given a second order linear differential equation or a general form and if you know one of the solution, suppose y1, then you can take y2 the second solution as u some function u times y1, then plug it into the original equation find the relation of u by reduction of order and then gradually you will find the, the second solution by the product of u and y. Okay, thank you.